The consumption of animal flesh on a regular basis has become so normal that a belief system has been created around it. A lot of people believe it is the reason human brains developed the way they did and was an essential step in human evolution. There are hundreds of reports which argue this notion as well as against it. The many studies which propose human brains developed and increased due to meat consumption explain that this is due to the high caloric quantity of meat, meaning the development was caused merely by the increased amount of calories rather than anything special in the meat. This seems an understandable notion as 1-3 to three million years ago it was much harder to get a variety of fruits and vegetables as people would have been limited and only been able to find certain plants growing around the area they settled in due to the lack of ability to trade and transport food around the world. Although this may have occurred, now in modern times this is still nowhere near a viable reason for eating meat. Eating a vast amount of fruit and vegetables which can be found less than a mile away in supermarkets and shops can give all the nutrients that is needed to not only sustain life but to flourish and develop further. The other side of the argument suggests it was the ability to create fire which allowed humans to further develop their brains, as the fire allowed the cooking and consumption of a higher caloric quantity of fruits and vegetables. A very valid piece of information which supports this notion is the human body. The human body is anatomically and physiologically adapted to eat plant-based food. Just like other herbivores, humans have smooth tongues and well-developed facial features whereas omnivores and carnivores have rough tongues and less developed facial features. Herbivores and humans both share the ability for jaw motion to move side to side when chewing, whereas omnivores and carnivores shear their foods up and down. Humans also have flattened teeth and canines which are short and blunted, whereas omnivores and carnivores have long, sharp and curved teeth. Humans and herbivores also share a long intestine, which is 10 to 11 times longer than our body whereas omnivores have a short intestine only 4-6 to six times the length of their body. The shorter intestine, which omnivores and carnivores have, allows the meat to be processed quicker so it does not begin to rot inside their body. This information highlights that humans are herbivores, and with this information it is not a surprise that plant-based eaters have the lowest risk rates of heart disease, diabetes, cancers and osteoporosis. Although some may argue that there are confounding factors, studies have found that even when diagnosed with such diseases as prostate cancer, heart disease and diabetes, a plant-based diet can actually reverse these illnesses. All this information highlights that being vegan is not only crucial for the environment and the animals, but is also extremely beneficial to health. So if we did mutate and develop through eating meat, then why is it our physiological features did not also adapt better to the consumption of animal products?